I was 24 years old uh, and bulletproof in my mind. So we were in Valdosta, Georgia at South Georgia Motorsports Park, a very nice facility, very well maintained, and everybody did their job. You know, if anybody didn't, I didn't. Um, and we rolled into first round of qualifying with a tune-up in the car that was gonna go as fast as I'd ever been in my life. Opening round of qualifying uh, is when the wreck happened. Um, three quarters of the way into the run, uh, we had an electronics failure. The way the fuel system works in the car, uh, it caused the motor to blow up, essentially. The way the motor blew up was angled at the driver's compartment. Oil and 60 pounds of boost it set the entire inside of the car on fire immediately. It was just swirling around. It was everywhere. Estimated it was 1,500 degrees or something crazy in there, you know. What was your thought that second? I'm dead. No doubt. I just was didn't know how long it was going to take for me to die. Um, my face shield of my helmet was open, so it just went just right into my face. Uh, the car, I was out of control. It took a turn, and when it nosed into the wall uh, at 170 miles an hour, um, I was damn sure I was dead then. But for 28 seconds, we were on fire. is on fire there please stay where you're at so I went straight to the uh, the hospital there in Valdosta um, when they finally came out you know and said uh, you know this is more than we can handle here uh, we're worried about very worried about inhalation damage um, so we we're gonna airlift him to the JMS burn center at the doctor's hospital in Augusta it was it was a roller coaster you know because there's a lot of things that came you know like the whole the whole, the whole lung issue was not even an issue for the first couple of days because they really didn't want to go in and, and even look and introduce anything if it was not a problem, but it became apparent it was a problem. And then when they did go in, it was really bad. So it was, you know. Uh... There were times there that they thought I wasn't going to make it, especially when they found the inhalation damage, uh, the damage to my lungs, you know. the. You know, the kind of the words from the, from the pulmonologist there was that we usually don't see people come back from damage like that. Um, and you know, for seven days it was touch and go. You know, it was is he going to make it? Is he not going to make it? Is he going to be on a vent for the rest of his life? You know, what's going to happen? Um, but they uh, an unbelievable job. You know, there's really no words to describe um, the care that I got there. Um, they're really, 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 really good at what they do. You know, Dr. Mullins and Beretta, um, they made me feel like I was something they had never seen before. You know, when I know in reality it's something they see all the time, but they made me feel like I was as special as anybody else that came in there. You know, they took one of the darkest times, especially for my family and, you know, those that just had to sit back and watch me suffer. Um, they made it a very easy process. Um, and it wasn't. By no means was it easy, but they made it as simple um, and as, as, as smooth sailing as they possibly could. They're the best of the best, you know, and they proved that in my case. And in my mind, there is nobody any better than them. Again, I couldn't, I could not thank them enough, but I, I did would just want them to know that I, I'm truly grateful for them keeping my kid around because we love him. I, you know, I, I, there's no way that me, my family, or anybody that experienced what we experienced down there could ever thank those people enough. They saved my life. You know, I was, I don't, I'm not saying that no other burn center could have kept me around, but they ain't nobody any better than them, you know, and they won, I mean, they are the reason that I'm sitting in this chair today. The bones go down, and this will be an emotional one if Lyle Barnett and the Tooth Trucker can get down ahead of John McDonough. And John McDonough smokes the tires. Ladies and gentlemen, Lyle Barnett, your first champion at Lights Out 8. Lee, you approve, I approve. Nothing against John McDonough, oh. but that means a lot.
That means a ton right there. Congratulations, man. That is so awesome, so emotional. Wow, you rock. Mark, you rock. Jason Digby, you like. Peter Harrell, you rock. That whole team, baby. Thank you, Lionel Barnett, man. One hell of a driver, and he takes it home.